And in South Africa today, thousands waited online to pay their respects to Nelson Mandela. As the questions intensified about that sign language interpreter, the man who was just inches from President Obama. Tonight, new revelations about his mental state. And ABC's Alex Marquardt is there with him. President Barack Obama. As President Obama paid tribute to Nelson Mandela, the man standing just three feet away says he was having schizophrenic hallucinations. Tonight, sign language interpreter Tamsanka Yankee told us he was seeing angels. When did you know that something was wrong that day in the stadium? It's when I see the angel come to the stadium. You saw angels coming down into the stadium? Yes. Yankee said he kept going, making signs we now know weren't real words. Yankee admits he's suffered many schizophrenic attacks over the years. Have you had episodes in the past where you've been violent? Yes, but now it's under control because I'm under medication. Were you under medication on the day of the memorial service? Absolutely. Yankee was given accreditation by the organizers, but wasn't screened by U.S. Secret Service. In fact, he said he was hired just the day before for an event attended by more than 100 current and former heads of state. The South African government told ABC News they don't actually know what qualification Yankee has and admitted it was a mistake to hire him. His employers have vanished. In a statement to ABC, the Secret Service tonight blamed the organizers and downplayed the threat to the president's safety, arguing agents are always close by. Given that you are disabled, that you have these attacks, that you were seeing angels that day, do you think you should have been on that stage with those presidents? Absolutely. Yankee says he was honored to stand next to President Obama, but tonight many are asking just how he was able to do that. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Soweto, South Africa.